Hello, thanks for joining me again for another unboxing. And this time, I'm unboxing a webcam stand. This is by Oxen, Oxendur. Mm. So I got this off Amazon, if that's what you're wondering where I got it from. I get a lot of stuff off of eBay, but I purchased this off of Amazon. This is um, model OXWCA01. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than what it is, but this will work for what I need. Right now I'm using a stand for a blow dryer, and it has served its purpose well. So when you open this, you get three things. I don't know what I did with the wrapper for that, so it was just a piece of plastic. This is what we get. We take everything out. Everything's out of that. I'll leave this to the side, I guess. Or I'll move it out of our way. So when you open that, you get this stand, and it's a bit weighty, which is good because it's a tabletop. I wanted this one and not the clamp because I wanted it. This one I feel is more versatile. The clamp has to be um, attached to the side or the front of a table. It, you know, it clamps down. This, I can actually move it place to place. I can put it on the floor. I can put it on top of a desk, a table, or whatever. Because a lot of times I'm outside in my printing area, and I can sit it on top of one of those two. So this is really weighty, and it has this hole in it. The camera's going to go in here, or uh, the cam uh, webcam stand, the armature is going to go in here and face this way. And this part is going to counterbalance the weight of the stand, this webcam stand, along with the camera that you place on it. So you have that. And we also have this little piece here, which it moves it needs to move around. This is the screw piece that you're going to attach to the bottom of the camera. That's what that is for. Of course, this arm that comes with it. Which opens up. It closes. It has um, four springs on it two of these, one on either side of the arm, and then this little short one here, one on either side of that arm. And it has this piece here. It allows you to move the camera once you attach it. All right. So this piece goes into the base. Let me get this over out of our way. And all you do is press it down into the base and push down on it until it goes into place. So when I pull it, it doesn't come out. So you need it all the way down. Now it will fit in there nicely, but if you don't push it all the way down, it will come back out. And you don't want that to happen when your camera is mounted on top of this. You want everything as secure as possible. So it will only go down so far, but I'm just double checking because I don't want anything to happen to the camera. And then this lifts up. You lift this arm up, there's a knob here that you can tighten it in place. All right, so once you get this armature where you want it, you want to tighten it down in every possible place so that you don't have an accident with your camera, all right? So I have that there. It's not necessary right now to tighten it down. So that, that controls the arm being able to rise and lower this arm here rise and lower. These springs are pretty uh, taunt, so you want to make sure you keep that in place. Now here at the top where this piece goes back and forth, you can tighten that down once you mount your camera and get it where you want it. So I'm going to attach this piece and I don't know what they call this, but you also get in there this little user manual. 
and the user manual let's see if it tells you what these pieces are yes they call this piece the turntable so this little piece because it does turn it has this little slit on one side here groove where this will fit right down in there nicely but other than that this has a ball on here and it will rotate 360 degrees in both directions so this piece is called the turntable of course this is the arm stand and then this is the round support base so we've done all of that now what we're going to do is we're now going to place this on here that's the turntable we're going to put it on this little we're going to put it on this little arm thing here lower this some and you can see what's going on this is the piece that moves and I'm just going to mount this on here by screwing it down I'll screw it all the way down as far as it'll go not trying to over tighten it only goes down so far so you just turn it to its hand tighten and now it moves so see the camera you can actually move this camera in all these from one end to the other that's good once I get it in place I'm going to tighten it down so this works really well because sometimes I'm standing up at an easel talking and then sometimes I'm instructing and I need the camera to face downward on the tabletop so that's there I'm going to tighten this in an upright position that's where I'm going to tighten it and it will work fine just for that I don't want to over tighten it but I want it to be where it's not moving and that's on the base and then I'm lifting that up so I'm going to lower it down it only goes back so far too on this part here it only go back so far which is fine and I'm finding if I extend it all the way out like it is here until it's extended all the way out the base is counterbalancing it so it's not teeter-tottering over like flipping over that's good alright so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the camera on it and this is a it looks like it's a standard uh, screw so it will fit on just about any camera whether it's a webcam or a video camera I'm going to use it on this particular webcam here this is the one I just got let you see what it looks like here this is what they call that turntable So I tighten it in, in place so it'll stay steady while I put this screw, put it on, screw it on. And the screw is underneath it, or the mounting area is underneath it, so I'm just going to turn it. Hand tighten it. You don't want to over tighten it. So I hand tightened it, and it's facing backwards. So now is the time that I would loosen up this screw right here, and you see how it just flopped over? Yeah. So now I loosen that screw and I'm able to turn this so that it would go forward so now I can have it face forward and once I have it face forward where I want it I'm going to tighten this screw here and that'll keep this head the camera head from moving and tilting and I like that and I can move this and I can use it to look straight ahead or I can turn it so that it is facing downward on a surface like a tabletop surface because that's what I usually do and you see the markings that were on this uh, tabletop and that's where I normally those are the two positions I normally use 
So even with that camera on, that camera's not that heavy, but with the camera on there, it's still counterbalanced where this um, base is keeping it from going forward. You don't want the base to tilt, uh, topple over and ruin your camera. So that's pretty good. I like that. It's really sturdy. It's lightweight. It's not that heavy. And I can move it to the floor. I can move it uh, from table to table again, wherever I need to, that has a surface, a flat enough surface that this will stand on. Okay, so that is an Oxidor webcam stand. And that is going to work out perfectly all right it doesn't have a lot of height to it I can raise it up like that and then tilt the camera forward but that's about it so I'm losing uh, some of the height that I had with the other stand that I was using uh, what was that a blow dryer stand but I am able to this armature gives you a lot more flexibility than a regular stationary tripod would give you. That's why I needed it and wanted it because it, it allows you to go forward with it and bend it where this can reach out over an area. A uh, tripod normally just stands erect straight up and down and that's all you can do with it. Okay, thanks for joining me. Until next time,